Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to um, focus our attention on um, a commandment that we were given throughout, throughout our holy uh, books, our holy writings, but set out specifically in Leviticus 18.3. Uh, like practices of the land of Egypt, like the practices of the land of Canaan, you should not do. Now, in those days, Canaan, Canaan, and Egypt, they were pretty much at the top of, uh, uh, of licentiousness and immorality. That was their life, that was their culture, they were all about that. And we we're told not to follow in their statutes, their cultures, their traditions, and anything that they do. Obviously, forbidden things like, uh, like adultery and everything like that, and uh, uh, immoral behavior, sensuous behavior. But even the stuff that is allowed for us, things that we are allowed to do, to conduct ourselves by a Jewish standard of restraint, holiness, refinement, and that should distinguish us ourselves. Uh, strive to uh, act, live, interact differently than what's in vogue. For anyone else, that is applies not to Jews, not to, to, not only to Jews, Balichuva, converts, but also to Noahides. If you're living a godly life, if you're living according to uh, the commandments of God as they apply to you, live your life accordingly. Our lives are different. Our goals are different. We shouldn't act like those around us. Regrettably, sometimes the insecure nature of certain peoples leads them to behave in a manner which unfortunately conforms uh, quite well to contemporary society. And I want to tell a, uh, a little story about the uh, Piazza Rebbe, a great tzaddik, a great righteous person who um, wrote, lectured, and inspired broken-hearted Jews uh, during the Holocaust, specifically in the Warsaw Ghetto, um, during the Second World War. When he reached the uh, age of 40, the great milestone age of 40, he said, what should I accept upon myself? What other thing can I accept upon myself in my life? To study more Torah? To the best of my knowledge, I don't waste any time. I don't fritter away any time, every spare moment. I learned, I learned Torah, so I pretty well got that covered. Um, distance myself from lust, desire. I'm a thank God, Baruch Hashem, I think I've overcome that too. So what am I missing? What, what, is, what can I take on myself? What can I do? Shoot simply to be a Jew. I visualize myself as a human being without a neshama, without a soul. I now want to convert myself to be a Jew. It's a very penetrating uh, statement, a very penetrating insight from um, an individual whose uh, his moral rectitude served uh, as a prime example, a paradigm of what a human being can achieve. The Slonim Rebbe explains that one can act like a Jew. He can go through the moves of Jewishness, keep kosher, keep the holidays, keep Sabbath, but lack the essential Yahadus the Judaism, which has to penetrate to your inner psyche. When the great uh, tzaddikim, when the gedolim, the great righteous uh, people of previous generations recited that opening brachas of the day, Shalom Asani Goy, we thank God who has not made me a Gentile.
they would immediately and momentarily they would reflect when they're saying Shalom Sani Goy. Reflect and asking themselves, is there any part of me, is there any part of my life that might be lacking in Yiddishkeit? If there's any part of me that is somehow not living up to that standard, and they would take it upon themselves to, to work toward that. Converts, many converts have asked me, how can I say with Kavana, how can I say with seriousness, Shalom Asani Goy, who has not made me a Gentile, when God has obviously made me a Gentile. Don't look at it that way. Don't look at it that way. You were born and God placed within you a Jewish soul. Because you were born, that soul was born into a Gentile body, it had the challenge to find its way back if you go through what is needed of you. If you convince a Bezdin, if you go to the mikveh, if you convert, you can honestly and truthfully say, Shalom Sani Goy, God didn't make you a Gentile, God made you a Jew. Your neshama, your soul, had a special gift. But even whether you convert or whether you're born Jewish and have been from all your life or whether you're a Balchova, you've come in, or whether you're a Noahide, you say, is there any part of me that is not living a proper, holy, godly life? And when you find that, strive to convert that. Convert that from your previous life into something good, from something good into something better. There's always room for improvement. Even someone who's achieved greatness has perfected almost everything in his life. He says, you know what, I'm going to convert myself into being a Jew. Simply put, I want to be a Jew, to be a Jew. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project and Benil, and thank you too much.